All right, guys. We're gonna cut this side. We're gonna book match these things to see what we can get. The problem is, yeah, this is the problem right here. Fuck. Well, if I take it down to here, yeah, that's only gonna be a 20 inch wide. That's why I was like, well, we'll have a 24 inch wide. Ah, oh, boy. Let me put these together and see what we got. It ain't very good though. It ain't very big, it ain't very good. That was the idea of it anyway. I'll find a good one to do it. Look at that, hey. Alrighty. Hundred bucks, come and get it. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a lot nicer if it was like a spalted, but what are you gonna do? All right, I got a big pine to put up here. Oh, so.
So this is what a guy wants. He wants this two by six maple. He wanted oak, but. When I cut this, I had a bad blade on it. But. Yeah. Now, this is just to show them. Uh, see? Don't trash, don't trash. Damn it. It's a shame, it's a shame. What are you going to do? The woods jump, the woods jump, you know? This wood over here. All right, guys. Well, if you got one of these, you can make your life easy when it comes to straightening this shit out. So we're just going to set this up here, turn it on like that, do a couple of uh, modifications, make sure that's going around. And then this guy here, tells you if you're dead on or not. So
So that's a slab there to nothing. I think we keep with that because we're pretty straight down the whole rest of that log. And actually we can come up just a hair probably, so we'll bring it up just a, just a smidge. Yep. <laughs>
I had one little high spot right here because my machine was going too fast or something. I could feel it there too, but not too bad though. Three quarter, a lot easier to move three quarter than it is one inch or anything like that. Oh. These will make perfect siding boards. Oh, I cracked that one. Dang it. That's the only other problem is if they crack, you know, then they're kind of pretty. Nice clean. That's why the bottom first portion of the log is worth so much because it's usually clear. So. <sighs> Yeah, otherwise it's not no wavy. Okay, so we're gonna flip this gigantor. I wish there was a way to speed up more than two times on the old bandit. Oh, I gotta get that winch. All I need is a pulley right there and I could actually use it a little bit. Let's see if I can do it. Now, should I flip it over all two sides? bump off of these if I don't cut those flush so um, usually it ends up at the log I'll rotate it to where these are and cut that my first cut and then it's not a problem but this log really has got a big dumb belly in it and that sucks because it, it ruins the log man but we'll cut them off quick
Are there sparks coming from? Dude, you cannot come onto the sawmill if I'm milling. Look at this guy. The, the mill is still running. She's like, look, dude, it's time for bed. You can't go on there when I'm milling. Are you crazy? I think you lost your mind. Did you? We're going to go down here. See, now you lost your mind. We're going this way. Yeah, hang on. We're going this way. You're crazy. What are you doing? I keep seeing sparks coming out of this thing. <laughs> I don't like that at all. What are you doing, old lady? You cannot come up here. So I think I'm gonna do an oil change on this. Look at, she's melting. Oh, that's melting. Oh, look at that. I was wondering where the sparks were coming from. Look at, oh guys. I'm telling you this fucking mill. You know, and you call these places and they probably think, oh, this freaking, these people in the world, they just always complain about everything. No, I'm legitimately, this fucking thing. I thought I seen sparks. What the fuck now? Way back when I knew this was going to be a fucking problem. Look at it. Why? Why would you put the muffler so tight there? Why not make a bracket and put it up here further? You guys, man. Not cool. I kept seeing a spark. I thought it was coming from the exhaust, but it wasn't. It was this. It's fucking loose now. <sighs> Look at this melted shit. off of here so when it cools damn I'm like what the fuck keeps sparking on there the whole fucking thing's loose everything on this fucking machine's been loose Doug Doug Hicks not cool For the troubles I've had on this, you should send me a box of five uh, carbide blades because I've wrecked at least three that you haven't gone good for. A set of band wheel guide things because I'm sure those got nicked up the couple times that the blades got messed up. Probably why it flipped off there the last week. Uh, I'm always running the right pressure on this. Fifteen to seventeen. Got an idiot sticker on there that tells you that. What else? The thing still it shouldn't wobble like it does when it comes backwards, but I think I got most of it out. What else? What else? I don't know. Other than that, I'm cutting some wood with it, guys. You know, it's not all bad. I got to resaw all this cherry I had done 100 years ago by a big mill. It's an inch and a half in the middle and an inch on each end. Try planing that stuff down. I got to do something with this roof. I fell off right there because I was thinking of the mill that I got that's got a million loose parts. <laughs> this is my drowning bucket. I never put this last one on here. My chickens are retarded. They both sleep under the big hen. The two guineas sleeping under the big hen. Why don't you guys go? I build a nest for you over there. You're crazy. All right. Tomorrow's another day.
what it is. Back at the shop, we're gonna build two, well, one for now, light brackets for my solar lights that I've had for 10 billion years. I just haven't done nothing with them. Let's see how this works. I bought this a bajillion years ago. And so, So what I was going to do is just put a, just two holes in there so I can mount it, okay? But the problem is the zip's going to go right through this guy. Here we go, light up hose. Sure, why not, eh? Okay, that was easy. Of course, that was that fast. 